Hello everybody, welcome to the deciding game of... St oh, I nearly said Storybook Bro. Blood Bowl Super League. Um, it's match number five. Chunter has failed to qualify, um, but he can ruin my qualification at the moment. Singolo is second, Rick is first. Um, if I win this game, then I will be second because I beat Singolo, so I'll have the tiebreaker over him. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's Dwarves versus Rats. Chunter, everyone knows Chunter, he's great with rats. He's won Chalice with rats. And he's got a pretty cool rat go. Oh, he's got a Storybook Brawl theme team as well. Amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. He's got, he's got all Storybook Brawl names. And I've got all Storybook Brawl names. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Fimir's here to do the commentary so I can try hard. Um, I'll do my best. Take it away, Fimir. Hello everybody, here we're to watch a game between the most hated coach in Blood Bowl and probably the most hated person in Blood Bowl. The most hated coach being a Chanter, Crystal Hunter, and the other one, well, you know him, you are here watching his game. Anyway, Blitzpeed format, one minute turns, resurrection format, so any casualty or any zone, there are no AP or anything, and here we are. Seems uh, Chanter won the toss. And he's very, very hot. Sweltering heat, so yeah, that's, that's a massive level of uh, randomness to the drive. And now, for those that don't know how to uh, Chanter plays. The concept of defense is uh, absolutely unknown for him. He has a uh, an offensive drive and a very and a very offensive drive. The only difference is in which side of the pitch the ball lands, but he's going to grab the ball anytime. So this is a great on paper a great game. Yes, uh, Chandler doesn't have shadow win, but <laughs> I know a rat ogre with a juggernaut and close. So yeah. It's probably the boring half of the money and the skill. And there you go. Yeah, this game should be good entertaining entertainment. Should be. This is Blood Bowl. Well, Ryo, to make the game last less, uh, Jimmy must be happy about that. Let's Blood Bowl to play. Dangerous kick that involves the hero you know, Run a good chunk. Now the lower seats. One KO for GB, good. Already better than 90% of his uh, lower seats. Interesting choice going for the blitz there. You're going to go back to defend. Now I expect the Crystal Hunter to use the Roger, the Rat Ogre in the most aggressive way possible. There are his Storm Vermins are the guard, so there is no actual danger there. Mighty Blow Claw or anything. for Chatter. Y 
Yes. Blood. Dim is half of the pitch. Oh, wild animal ruins the blitz. Time for plan B. Hunter fails a three plus dodge. Put that in the counter, guys. We're not gonna see many of those. Jimmy can cage safely. He needs to be careful because the rogue has a juggernaut, which means he can block results. So, good for surfing, but also for opening cages. Oh, God, the rat, the, the, got the runner. Armor break, good enough. Stand good. Cage. The back a little. Protecting the gutter. Very nice gain going for the blitz. Time the rata obeys double pow. Soon, Line rats here, why is the easier? Kill. Chanter is not gonna spend the apple in any rat. Covering here all the possible holes. Ah, so Chander is not a stranger to use red dice wherever it is needed, so at some point he will try a very aggressive uh, play. He has a total disregard for the safety of his players when he decides to win a game, and in this format, perfect. Because, well, this is the last game, but even if it wasn't you know, any dead or that go again. I'm 
Bet Your Money, la de Stormbermin on the Ground, Try to do a Dodge Point, probably at the end of the turn. Please get the pow. He's thinking about using Jugger now to get another uh, hit and get a better position for the Rat Ogre. See, there, I think, the right one. And there you go, there was the dodge. And I think this is two dice. The Rat Ogre. Oh, double score, well, okay, three rolls is okay. And now he can blitz the Rat Ogre with a mighty blow. If he wants to, but there was also the a case to be made to try to blitz the sidestep uh, gutter runner. But if he can get rid of the rat ogre, that would be massive. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. Now, just in case he rolls another double skull. Powder and armor break will be massive here. And there you go, second double skull of tan and into an injury. Yuhu! What are the chances? That's the question. Is he using the app or not? Is a It's a runner, so it's not that important piece, but... Oh, and now there are ways to achieve uh, a hit on the ball. That the Solverm in there could one dice, for example. Jimmy already dropping the GG. Hunter one in nine. Lucky. That was gonna change all the ton of uh, Chanter. Gets the pow. That's rough. Because now, yes, the back door. Oh, armor break now. The back door is completely open. Get pow. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Going for the bliss. Most dangerous piece. Jimmy. Because mighty blow. Frenzy. Lucky lad there. Lucky lad. Oh, Space Cadet. Thanks for the massive raid. 70 people here. Thanks for being here, Space Cadet. We're watching here a classic. And there you go, the rat over in the ball, that's, that complicates things, but the troll layer is there, so maybe we can see some downless action there. And now Jimmy's in a big, big problem here. Chanter calling the very early GG is not precious, he's a true professional. 
He has faced as many GG's before. Down this works. Get the pow. Good pow there. Very good pow. And now is what to do. You are blitzing the. There you go. Chain. Uh, nice chain in there. And also getting a nice pow. I mean, that chain in case uh, he pushes. There will be another hit there. Jimmy's in turn six, so he needs to start uh, moving really, really soon. Oh, another very nice pow. Oof, KO. Very, very good. Santer can be thinking about that, but no, I don't see that happening. The, he only has three turns left. Now he can get the... The, the rogue wakes up and after we to die a block there. Pow, a 1 in 9 would have been absolutely massive there. Oh, KO. Again, the line rats following the tradition of being the most powerful player there. Dodge fails. Has to use the reroll. He has right now one D on the ball. Oh, wrestler. What is that? Oh, I thought he was actually trying to go for the blitz with the. Oh, beautiful to the play there. Beautiful to the play. I didn't show that at all. Cutter is fine for Chanter, not for Jimmy. Now Jimmy can score unless a miracle happens. I mean, he has a blitzer that can run like the wind. Okay, I push is enough. And it was the play one dice, no? That's the red dice. I don't want this one. Guard it. Classic one. Push. Not good enough. That should have been a pow. Makes things much more complicated. Alright, that because that was I think that was a Jimmy's plan for boring plans with the hand off that the blitzer now picking up the ball gets it now oh okay yeah, Jimmy's now the plan is avoid the the rats to score it's gonna be complicated Jimmy needs the Roger to go uh, fail the roll, roll a one.
Wild Animal Works. Uh, oh, 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 Loner Works to get that, and that's it. Saved by the lack of block in the rogue. And now there is a lot of hits could make the second half uh, easier for uh, Jimmy. He managed to take out a few rats, especially the cutters. And now, in case you're wondering why Jimmy is advancing, even if stun 8, and uh, Chanter always has one turn, is to make things more complicated for Chanter in case he he managed to get the ball he grabbed to run more squares, move more things, do more rolls. A uh, common mistake that I see a lot of times is, you know, coaches being too conservative and not taking the space in the other uh, half of pitch. Oh, Jimmy running uh, three plus uh, blocks there, like uh, dodges, like they're nothing. And I think Chanter is for some damage, damage here. The apple is gone. Gets the pow. Nothing. Could be a foul here. Getting rid of a long beard doesn't have much. But with a scorching heat, who knows? Only one uh, dwarf away and one gutter away. The KO didn't come back. In general, one guard lost each side. Much more important for Chanter than for uh, Jimmy. So nice. Uh, Nice result. Comes the difficult part, trying to stop the rest. Now doing a setup with the versus rats. You go with chevrons, can go the other way. So in yeah, cases, I prefer the rule of five. I want to score early, they are welcome to it. But we will see what Chanter decides. What is the kickoff? I smell a perfect defense. Brilliant coach. Oh, another error for Jimmy. Good. Well, Jimmy didn't score, but it's not looking too bad. Also, Jimmy needs to win to qualify, but the uh, Chanter is a very straightforward uh, coach and he's not going to give any advantage to anyone or put his arms down or anything. For the blitz with a line rat there. Gets the pow, Mrs. Klaus. Didn't kill the dwarf. Lucky Jim. And yeah, Chanter seems decided to uh, take as much space as possible. Fails the pickup. I think he can afford to fail this. It's gonna be complicated because the dwarves could find an opening there, but they don't have the speed to take it ma a big advantage. And if they do, they have to abandon the those rats there. Just in a, even a worse situation. 
Dash Conservative. Hit Rats in the face. And now there are players getting up and the other player getting up. The main purpose is to keep uh, the rats in the center uh, busy. So they can uh, do much. With a long beard on the left. He will uh, center to get two dice. We'll need to use two players, one to the assist, one for the and now with the guard. That door is closed. I would prefer maybe the guard being under the long beard. But also being in that part of the pitch is useful. Now, double skull. Ooh, classic open in there. That means no reroll for the pickup. No. Yeah, now. See with his uh, move there, guard the piece. Oh, he's going for him. Guess it. Switch to the left side, looks like it. Pick up the ball, AG4 doing a thing. Try to, to dice the. And another double scar. Jesus. Chanter is not being very lucky with the block dice. Well, Jimmy also managed to do the same. Roll two double squads in the same time. And now here comes the problems for the rats. In fact, there's going to be a problematic situation here for the rats, no doubt. Oh, big KO there, Dark Wrestle tackle, very annoying, not for the tackle, obviously, but the Wrestle, oh, there you go, power up. It's the second half, so yeah, there are no uh, extra time, so using it in, a, in this format, using it for chaos, is obviously much, much better than uh, using it for a Baldi Hardware care. Managed to get the POW. Tan, oh, he's looking nice. There is a runner there. GFI, GFI. I think you do the one dice. Testing now, Jimmy has two dice versus a line right the, in the bottom. Ah, he saw it now. Good enough. He decides not to do the one die with the mighty blow rat. With the mighty blow uh, door. Oh, the rat uh, gets up. Well, animal works. 50%. One that, oh, that's an instant roll use. Into a power. You know. And now he's going also for the pickup with a rat. Mm. 
gets the ball, because six runs run away. It doesn't look very safe to me. This dodge must work. No, it doesn't work. Ooh. And now, yeah, line rod with the ball without any skills. That's a heart full of hope and dreams. Jimmy can get the two dice there easy. Now this half looks all right, but this is the kind of play that I would prefer to uh, using the time to mastermind. Another 15 seconds to think. Gain advantage of the system. Well played. I mean, I always imagine that people do this. This is Cloud is out, which was exactly the same result. But I've been seeing that usually when it's a kind of very obvious play to cover the ball. I don't like doing uh, those, you know, kind of uh, secondary blocks or some D blocks. But you run double scars, you lose the reroll, and you're fine. Bullshit. You can be mine. Five. Two GFIs for the blitz. Gets hit, gets the rat. And this looks now like a win for Jimmy if managed to pick up the ball. That's it with the... No, it doesn't. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. You know, uh, magic plays there, magic happening. Never lucky. Never lucky. Hey, Elliot, how you doing? Oh, the final 51. Lots of people watching this. And now... Chanter forced to go with the Wendy with the line rat. I think he will try to use the rogger free that the line rat there. What end? I'm not sure. But free in the rat. Oh! There you go, the risky place of... Oh, another learner that works. And... Uh, see, that's why he shouldn't have to use the rover. That was the, as I say, you know, the, that was the clear play to do. Let's do it. Now Jimmy has to blitz that side step rat with tackle, which is him. He has to be clear. It's a hundred. It happens. Power uh, or down. And the option is clearly a handoff to the runner. Is the long term better solution? Keep the ball in the hands of the. Long beard. Probably depends if he has to use a. Oh, he's going for the three dice. He can cover the squares. Yes, he can cover the squares. So side step is problem. He can now guaranteed free in the 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 long beard. Then pow. Armor break. Looks beautiful now. To the D with the ball. Hit of the day. Picking up the scatter with an epic six. Yeah. 
And ran out of time. Oh no, I stood in the wrong fucking square. I should have stood here. And then I could have yes, just screened yes. off. But now it's just horrible. Oh, what an idiot. Deserved to yes, lose, I guess. Any moving that dwarf to any square was better than leaving him there. Now we are going to watch probably some uh, Chanter magic here. Or maybe not. I, I don't... Uh, yeah, it's, not, it's not as bad as what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> That's not... Uh, I, I, I thought he was going to try to do some other play, maybe with the line rat on the floor. Mm. I think he's one, yes. Try to base with the roger and then base with the other one. Well, and this is a game for an argument that why you don't uh, use a rat ogre in a scamming team. I know why he has Juggernaut. It's because of the the one turns. But using Claw as a double, maybe a block would have been a better option. Who knows? You never know. Who can say who's right or Three times for Chanterino. That recovers the use of most of his players, but most of them are on the ground. Run out of uh, rerolls. Strongman situation here. No space for failure. Well, well, there you go. Easy, no danger. And now he can also put the, <laughs> let's say, the step around and get ready because he's going to dodge the Gressel tackle uh, rat to probably tag the Blitzer. Something is happening somewhere. Oh yeah. Five seconds. Oh, I was 100% sure that he would go for that. Uh, tagging that the uh, blitzer because now that bit for there. Not a good time to do a one in nine. If that was a pow, a pow, majest. Roll already used. Bats clenched. He can risk to hit the side step rat because he doesn't. Take it on the rat, that side step is gonna be annoying as fuck. Yeah. And here we go, lads. Play of the game. The rogue is away from the ball. I mean, if he roll pushes or something like that, both the uh, it's that side step could have tagged the ball carrier.
Now that armor break gives a brief to Jimmy, because uh, Chanter will, will probably go while an animal fails. Red dies into the ball carrier. And turn 16, turn 15 for uh, Jimmy, that had more or less distorted. Uh, enough dwarfs. Take the ball. And now, here we are, just watching the last of the game, and I think this is going to sign the third qualification in a row for uh, Jimmy in the Super Blood Bowl League, in the Blood Bowl Super League, and that adding to the, his qualification for the Blitz Speed means that Jimmy officially is going to have to play a lot more Blood Bowl in the next few days. And Hello, lead by wanna be a killer goat. Time 16 for Chanter, time for the hero plays. Time to roll the sixes. Looked like my high equity line of complaining about the dice early paid off. <laughs> once again, once again, the early GG, absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's going to blitz him and then toggle the side step. Oh, should be able to deal with it, though, I think. But I think he already put up the set step there. Oh, he's already moved the side step. Ah, okay then. Yes, he was on the floor. Woohoo. He was going to tag with that one. Mm. And that's it. GG, well played. Good luck in the semis. And Crystal Thank Hunter defeated. And that's it, another qualification for Jimmy. <laughs> Woohoohoo! Three out of three! <laughs> oh god, never in doubt yet. <laughs> Apart from the abject failure of the first half. It was sad having to give up on the score and then getting super lucky the turn after so that like I could have actually gone for it if I'd uh, if I'd got it. It was hard on it, the riot and then the deep kick was just like made the made the dwarf drive brutal yes, really. Very, very, very hard. Yeah, especially knowing it's Chunter and knowing he's coming for your balls. That's the thing, isn't it? So, like, yeah, you know, I had to... That's why I, like, didn't blitz... Well, I did blitz, but, you know, blitzed back. Keep it narrow and deep yeah. so that you can't get... You know, you can't split the team, then move up, and then just, you know, go slow, and then if I don't score, I don't score. Because he's got a chance to one turn anyway, hasn't he? He's got a Juggernaut Roger, so, like, I can't really stop him getting the one turn. If you roll the dice, he gets it. So I think nil-nil isn't, isn't that bad, and it's certainly better than finishing one-nil down. And then... Uh, and he had some he had some shit dice in the second half to be fair, so that's certainly Yes, helped. you have you have the double double schools in the first half, he had them in the second half, you know, equity perfect balance as everything should be. <laughs> Thanos will be proud. Yeah, and that that's why I pulled the runner, because like obviously it wasn't that bad because I could just only field one runner um and still have the eleven, but I thought with the with the heat and um, there's a good chance of you know me being down players if I don't apple him, so I thought, and it was not badly hurt. And plus, I like the extra movement against rats anyway, right? Because the the movement is is yep. very bad. So. No, no, the heat was like could have been, you know, a <laughs> game deciding. Yes, usually it is. is. <laughs> yeah, usually, someone gets three three players out, and then that's it. 
Yeah, thank God, thank God the heat didn't ruin the game because that was that was a that was a big fear as well, especially on my end, because you're like <laughs> you've kind of got to outbash them a bit, haven't you? Like you know the dwarves kind of have to have to beam up against the Skaven for it to be fair, basically, because that's how they're both costed. You know, dwarves are all armor nine and Skaven are all armor seven. So if you're not men up, then you get your yeah, dice, basically. So. Chanter losing the gutter runner for the second half for the hit and the KO didn't come back. That was all oh, happy days. Yeah, yeah. So like the first half was tough, on, but then the second half did get men up and then, and yeah, that was, that was nice. Whew, what a game! What a game! So yeah, very well played, Chanter. Um, made it. That was very difficult. Um, and yes, glorious, glorious qualification. Rick, Rick won the group. Uh, some guy won one three. Rick, Rick with Kemry qualified. Um, uh, me and Singolo ended up in the same record, but I beat Singolo, so I go through on the head-to-head. -head. Um, and then the other group was won by Andy Devo and his Necro. And uh, the second place is undecided as yet, but likely to be, I think, Seabrolls with his Kemri. So there you go. Right. Thank you very much, Faimir, for doing some amazing commentary, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, always the best. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.